they weren't, I'd be in a massive rush. Our groceries haven't come yet, so I'm eating wheat mix with cacao nibs and dates. I usually have avocado toast in the mornings. Why do I love eating standing up? Actually, I don't, I just do it because I'm like in a rush. But like, what's the difference in me sitting down? Will I just like take my time off? Anyway, this top is from Valley Girl and this skirt is from Seed. And I'm wearing loafers from Zara. Needed coffee. What do you study? Media and communication. Fun, oh, nice. How cute. I'm literally drew hearts on my coffee. This room is in the multi faith center and it's just massive. There's never anyone here. So I'm just gonna sit and chat and drink coffee. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Mesquite. I'm in my fourth year of film and television here at Swinburne University. I am in my honors year. Let all the time go. Mm. These last four years, I've dipped into cinematography, script writing, working with actors, being on set, directing a music video that I was in as well, and I wrote a song for it called Blooming Thoughts. The assignment was to find a band and make a music video for them, but I was like, mm -mm -mm, I'm gonna make my life hard and start from scratch. But I had an amazing team who just believed in my vision. is our grad film. So we've been working on our grad films since the beginning of 2023, so almost two years now. And then last semester I actually got to execute my vision for the film High Rock Hair, which I did set design on. High Rock Hair is about girls who get lured into a pyramid scheme. And the other film that I'm working on is Guapa, which is about an Argentinian girl who integrates herself within Australian culture and like the struggles that come with that. And the post-production stage has been a crazy one. But we will survive. I will survive. Hopefully. So the units I'm doing this semester is the post-production editing class. Then I also have marketing and distribution. A few weeks ago we actually had the producer of H2O, like Cleo. She came to speak to us, which was so, so cool. And then I'm also taking a global history unit. Okay, now I'm gonna go to class. I need to get a lot done. This is the film area. Chocolate is so thoughtful. I have to go to my history elective, but I'm literally sitting in my car and editing because I need to get this video to a brand ASAP. I have a million and one tasks to do today. You know when you just have a day of tasks and you just need to get them done? Like you can't really think about whether you want to do them or not? Like that's not an option. You just have to be disciplined and do it. Mmm, Naz, you have just made my day. So I was literally sitting here editing my little video. I just see Jed like from the corner of my eye. Jed, tell us about your day. I'm studying mechatronical engineering. I've got a test today. Oh, nice. A bit worried about that. You're gonna do great. Let's go. Okay, history class. I've got an essay due for this class in a few days. Haven't started. You know, I need that last minute adrenaline rush. Today's a workshop class, so they're like basically showing us how to write this thing. The expedition of surrender was signed on a US battleship. The Treaty of Nanjing, which was signed on, on a British battleship. Hey, look how cool this is. Oh my gosh, I'm going to Japan in a few days. This is so exciting to see. This is going to be the aesthetic. So I'm walking to get lunch right now. History was really interesting. He was talking about Japan and Hiroshima, which is so funny because I'm literally going there. On Sunday, today is Tuesday. I'm 
my go-to lunch is Guzmani Gomez always. It's just so easy. I know that I like it. A good burrito is always filling. It's got like the protein of the black beans, yummy vegetables. They also make it really quick. It's not too expensive. This was like $9 for like a burrito. Fuel, really. <laughs> But I feel like there's too much headroom, yeah. Let me move the scene oh, yeah, shot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And how does that look? Hey! Hello. We've been locked in the editing cave mm -hmm. for a couple of hours now. No light, no sleep, no food, yeah. no water. None of that. <laughs> Naz is the director of Guapa, the film that we've been working on. It's a project about being a teenage immigrant in Melbourne, which is something we can both relate to. Yes, having a dual identity. You never feel like you're enough of either culture. My viewers are like 30 or 40% Australian and everyone else is from other countries. Ooh. And like, there's a lot of people who have told me that they've moved to yes. Australia. They feel this way as well. It's really interesting seeing Kat, the character. She's a 17 year old girl navigating her relationship with her family. Immigrant families are a bit more like intense, like yeah. and a personally ex my experience. Mm. Like it's all intense. If there's like yeah. something going wrong, it's like intense. And then it's like loving, it's like also intense. Versus her relationship with like her peers around her. And of next year, stay tuned. Yes. Or you can come to our festival screenings. Yeah. Um feel from Melbourne. If we get in. Get no no. In. We when are getting wet. Sorry. When we're manifesting this energy. Yes. It's gonna happen. And if it doesn't happen, it's just not meant to be, but like it's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. Exciting. Yay. Hey! Guys, I do engineering and finance. What year are you in? Second year, it's going good. Yeah. Nice! Done for the day, I gotta go for swimming now. Good to see you! I'm literally filming a vlog now, do you wanna say hi? Oh yeah! Yeah? Hello! I'm studying biotechnology. Oh my god, cool! Masters of science. What's your favorite thing about swim then? A lot of diversity, a lot of new friends, new people. Yeah. I love it. What's your name again? Shaylee. Shaylee, that's beautiful. So cute. So I literally just started filming. She's like, oh, I watch your videos. She's like, you went to New York recently. This year I'm writing an exegesis. So it's not only research, it's also how we've applied that research into our projects. It is due on November 1st. It is September 3rd today. I want to make sure that I do it in little chunks so I don't get distracted. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. Of course. I'll see you around, yeah? Have probably 4,500 words to go. That's actually not too many. Um. I'm talking about production design in my exegesis and how color palettes are used as a foreshadowing tool. We perceive film and we don't even like understand the meanings are like subconsciously sinking in as we're watching the film. I'm always at uni for so late these days. I had so much fun bringing you guys along on a day in my life as an honor student. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Grow with me in the 20s on your spiritual journey, on your self-belief journey, because that's what we're all about. I yeah. love you guys. Leave me a comment down below of what you're studying at uni or what year you were in at school. If you're not at uni yet, we can have a good chat down in the comment section. Bye.